All right, hopefully I have enough time because my phone's at 26%, I think, 28 max, but yeah. Am I an incel? Did not look wherever they were going. People sure don't like to look where they're going, that's for sure. I almost got hit. Anyways, that's Georgia for us. Anyways, am I in cell? Well, the easy answer is no. I'm more of a full cell. You all, we all know what the you know meaning in cell means. Involuntary, involuntary, involuntarily celibate. Okay, me. I'm not involuntarily. I am um, uh, voluntarily celibate. But, if I wanted to decide to just go around and get sex if I wanted, then I'll become an incel. Obviously not by choice. It's, well, that's what the whole point of incel. You're not getting any sex. That's the whole definition of it, but... Do you get what I'm trying to say? All I'm saying is, even if I wanted to go out there and sleep around, I would not be able to get it. And then on top of that, if I wanted to do that, I would have to lower so many of my standards. Oh my gosh. I would have to go to a club and wow a girl enough to convince her to sleep with me. But even if it's not a club, the point is the whole thing is just full of shit. So, this is why I'm just not going to participate in hookup culture at all. I don't mean for this video to be long at all, so don't be surprised if I end the sooner or later. Because it just boils down to this. I am voluntarily celibate. I do wish they had another term for that because celibate, the, which means not having sex. I think, I hope it only means that because then that will support what I'm about to say. Because when people say they're celibate, that means they haven't had sex in a while. Or... I don't know if that's the definition of it, or is that just the common practice of celibacy? I feel like it's probably the second option of celibacy. But me, what I'm trying to say basically is, there's a difference between being celibate and being a virgin. And I already technically explained that celibacy is not having sex and virginity is never had sex yeah so me I'm just a Volcel virgin a VV a double V <laughs> interesting maybe I should make that a trend a VV I'm a VV a voluntary volu volu voluntarily virgin Oh, this version voluntarily. A VV. Yeah, it just boils down to that. I'm voluntarily a virgin. Like, I already explained why so many times, but the main reason why I am a virgin is simply because I want to make sure I'm sharing this vulnerable, I'm going to even say blessed moment with the right woman. People are not stopping for nothing. I just want to share that moment of losing my virginity with the right woman. That's it. Christian woman who's also a virgin. That's it. Yep. Another virgin woman. That's it. So like I said, I am not 
Practically speaking, I am not an incel, no. Because how can I be an incel if I chose to just simply not have sex? That's not how incel, 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 incelium works, if that's the correct wording. That's just simply not how it works. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Yeah. I'm choosing not to have sex with any woman. I don't care how hot she is. I know I'm saying this, and I have my all my male urges and stuff like that, but I don't care how hot the woman is. I gotta stay on my purity. I might have fucked up my brain with pornography and lust and all that other stupid junk. I might not be pure or a person in that circumstance, but the least thing I can do is simply hold on to my physical virginity. That's the least thing I can do, hold on to that. Because if I can hold on to that, then man, I am so glad I did. There's power in sex, very much power. So the best thing I can do is just simply hold that. Simply hold that. And then, oh my gosh, I have standards when it comes to virginity. The idea of me sitting there losing my virginity for any woman is just completely nonsense. That transaction is super unequal. But I understand women in their 20s, that's the time they're definitely losing their virginities. Versus men, well, technically, it technically still will be wrong. Men are still losing their virginities in their 20s, maybe even their teens, unfortunately. I mean, like, teenagers, adolescents, 13, that's what I'm talking about. Unfortunately, they should not be doing that junk, but they are. It happens, unfortunately. Anyways, but I would hate to sit there and throw away my virginity standard for a non-virgin woman. I don't care if she only had one partner. I don't care. You chose to open your legs. You chose. You did not save yourself for me. There are different cases like, you know, the R word. I'm not going to say that. The R word. And, um, you know, marriage. You know, failed marriage. I understand those are those cases. But at the same time. I just don't want that burden. Even for the... It, it just equalizes. Because I was going to give more... And I am giving more sympathy for the woman who lost her virginity the wrong way. You know, forcibly. The R word. But at the same time, I don't want to deal with her stress, honestly. I really don't, honestly. That'll be a lot of work for me. I will feel bad for her, but I don't know. I don't know the future. <laughs> Only God knows. One thing for sure I think I do is I'd probably go for a woman. And if out of both of those cases, if a woman had a one body count, and in these conditions she either lost her virginity forcibly, unfortunately, I'm super sorry, or a failed marriage where the man was lying to her so she decided to divorce him. The one I think I'd probably go for, oh my gosh, is probably the woman who lost her virginity forcibly. Why? Because it was not in her intent to lose that way. But at the same time, this is the part that makes me want to choose the woman that was previously married. It's because I don't want to deal with with um, her trauma. Now her trauma is on me. That would be my responsibility to somewhat fix her. I would hate to, but some battles are just not meant for everyone. It'll take the power of God for me to do that. To do either of losing, uh, of, um, um, of lowering my, some of my standards. It'll take God. But as far as I'm concerned, 
No, I'm sorry, I can't do that. I'm choosing to lose my virginity the right way, as God intended. Both partners are virgins. And ultimately, the picture I see is both of them young. I find beauty in two young people, Christian to be exact, getting together, falling in love, falling in love. They don't know what in the fuck they're doing with each other. They lose their virginities with each other. I find beauty in that, especially if they're young, in their 20s, newly married. There's literally a couple online I find super cute. Shout out to Never Give Up and his wife. They both are young. Look, I, I'm, I'm, I don't, I'm not trying to get in there, you know, sex life or whatever. I'm just saying they're both married. And yeah, they're a very cute couple. I, I, I want something like that. Finally, in a Christian, I don't know if they were virgins or not, but I'm not going to get into that. Sorry. But anyways, I'm not going to get into it. But me, as far as I'm concerned, me, since I had the chance to spy all of my stupid hypocrisies and double standards, while I can stay pure, I'm going to do that. Christian men, Christians are supposed to be voluntarily celibate. We're supposed to be virgin uh, voluntarily. We're supposed to be. That's pretty much it. That's pretty much all I gotta say. Yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm always trying to extend these videos. But yeah, that's my message. I'm not an incel. I'm not an incel. However, let's entertain the incel part for a little. I'm on work on a limited time because my battery. I, I already know it's under 15%. But yeah, anyways. Let's entertain the incel thing for a second. If I wanted to go out there and seek for a wife. Assuming she also was a virgin. Christian virgin to be exact. Like me, Christian virgin. She would have to... The whole point is just fucked up. The idea I'm sitting there... The idea of a Christian being an incel is just don't go together at all. That goes for swearing as well. Christians and swearing don't go together either. So yeah. Anyways, look on me. Hate myself for it. But anyways... It just don't work. It sounds nonsense. The point is... If I decided to be a promiscuous guy right now, in my prime... Like the, like the guy said, then I, it will be, I would be an incel. But because I'm choosing pureness and holiness, for the most part, I'm, 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 I'm going to be voluntarily celibate. So no, I'm not an incel. And I don't think I'm going to be one for a while. I'm not, I don't want to be, a, uh, I don't want to be a promiscuous guy. No. I don't want no spiritual STDs, a pair and all that other junk. So yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm not an incel, I'm a vocel, okay? Voluntary virgin. Voluntary virgins. Shout it out in the comments. Thanks for watching, like, comment, subscribe.